Welcome to Sunday School. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let's sing Be Still and get ready to hear God's story. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. This is the season of Advent. A time that we get ready to celebrate the mystery of Christmas. We are all on our way to Bethlehem. <clears throat> Show us the way. The prophets, <coughs> they listen to God and they can show us the way. Isaiah was a prophet and spoke the word of God. One day, a Messiah would be born like a light shining in darkness and people who have walked in great darkness have seen a great light, and those who dwell in a land of deep darkness, on them has light shined. This is the light of the prophets. <clears throat> It reminds us that like the prophets, we should listen to, do to God and he will show us the way. Let us enjoy the light of the prophets. Joseph and Mary are on their way to Bethlehem. <coughs> they can show us the way. They have a secret. An angel came to them and said, Do not be afraid. Be joyful. You will have God's special son. <coughs> you will name him Jesus. So they are on their way to Bethlehem where Jesus will be born. This is the light of the Holy Family. It reminds us not to be afraid, but to be joyful on our way to Bethlehem. Let us enjoy the light of the Holy Family. The shepherds are on their way to Bethlehem. <coughs> they can show us the way. They have good news too. An angel came to them and said, do not be afraid, be joyful. Today a savior, God's special son is born in Bethlehem. You will find him lying in a manger.
This is the light of the shepherds. It reminds us of, God, of the good news, a savior, God's special son is born. Let us enjoy the light of the shepherds. the Holy Family <clears throat> and we change the light of the shepherds I wonder <laughs> what it is like to be on your way to Bethlehem I wonder what it was like for Mary and Joseph <clears throat> and the shepherds to hear a voice saying there is good news so <clears throat> now is a good time for you to think about this story and maybe draw a picture or do something that would recreate the story. And then we can um, gather back together and read it. And after we finish reading it from the Bible, we'll have our feast. Welcome back. I hope you had a good response time. So let's light our Christ candle. And this helps us remember that God is with us, especially when we read from his word. So today's reading is from the book of Luke, the second chapter, starting at the eighth verse. There were some shepherds in that part of the country who were spending time in the fields and <laughs> taking care of their flocks. An angel of the Lord appeared to them <clears throat> and the glory of the Lord shone over them. They were terribly afraid. But the angel said, do not be afraid. I am here with good news for you, which will bring great joy to all people. This very day in David's town, your savior was born Christ the Lord, and this is what will prove it to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great army of heavenly angels appeared <coughs> with the angel singing praises to God. Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them back into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us. So they hurried off and followed <coughs> and found Mary and Joseph and saw the baby in the manger. When the shepherds saw them, they told them what the angel had said about the child. All who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said. Mary remembered all these things and thought deeply about them. And the shepherds went back singing praises to God for all they had heard and seen. It had been just as the angel had told them. So let's pray. <coughs> Father God, help us <coughs> to rejoice and share the good news. Help us to prepare our hearts for Jesus coming. And Lord, we pray that over Christmas, we remember that the best gift is the gift you gave us <coughs> when you sent your son Jesus. <clears throat> I pray for all the children that everyone will have a good week and that everyone will have a wonderful time at school and at home. Keep everyone safe in Jesus name. Amen. And now I'll change the light. 
Oh, so that we can remember that God is not just in one place, but in all places at all times. So let's prepare our feast. If you've got a snack, you can take a napkin, make your table. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. So I'll give you your blessing now. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.